Okay, we've written another interesting integral. We've got the integral from one to infinity of one over three to the ln x dx. Okay, this one actually wasn't too difficult, but there was a few interesting points to it that I wanted to go over. So first of all, we got the situation here where our base is three, we'd like it to be e or x. What I can do for three is we can actually just rewrite this. I can write this as e to the ln three, but then we have this ln x for the exponent. So let's add the exponent in. And now with exponent properties, we could multiply this in and then we could pull the ln3 up. We can actually just reverse these in one step. So I can actually just, so I can just write this as e to the ln x all to the ln3. But then what we have here using this same exact trick here in reverse, this here is just x. So then this thing is actually x to the ln3, where ln3 is just a constant value. So let's just take this and we'll put this back into our integral. So we have this integral and we have in the denominator, this is now, we have the, now we have this rewritten as x to the ln three and we've got dx in the numerator. But then from here, let's just take this into the numerator and set this up so we can do power rule on it. So we'll have this again, same bounds. Now this is gonna be x minus ln three dx. But now again, with this just being a constant, we can just do power rule. So this is gonna become x minus ln three plus one and then over and then dividing by the same thing, I'll just reorder it, write this as one minus ln three. And we just need to evaluate this from one to infinity. And now from here, we just need to evaluate this at infinity. Now what we're looking at here, the key thing here is this exponent on this. If this exponent is positive and we plug in infinity, then this integral is gonna diverge. But if the exponent's negative and we plug in infinity, then it's going to zero. But now the key thing for this exponent, one minus ln three, E is like, just remember E is around 2.718 or something like that. And so three is greater than this. So this LN value is gonna be greater than one. It's actually something like 1.09. So then this value here is actually something like minus 0 0.09. And so since this exponent here is less than zero, when we evaluate this at infinity, the first term is just gonna be zero. One other way you could look at this is coming back to this integral over here and just looking at this. For an integral in this form, we actually have the p-test for convergence, where we just check the exponent on the x. And the test is, is this value is this value less than or greater than 1? Well, ln3 is greater than 1. And with our lower bound, some value, it doesn't have to be 1. It could be any constant value that's greater than 0. Then because this is greater than 1, the test tells us that this integral here is going to converge. It doesn't tell us what it's going to converge to. It just tells us this will converge. And that's why this works right here. Then next we just need to evaluate it. One, we get this minus up front. We plug one and it doesn't really matter what the exponent is. The numerator is just gonna be one. This is gonna be all over one minus ln three. But, when, but then with this minus sign, I can just use it to change the order. And so for our final solution to this, we just get one over ln three minus one. Okay, there you have it. That was a quick and interesting integral. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.